Now let's look at a few new and improved dashlets in Alfresco 4.2 Community Edition. I'm logged in as the administrator and I'm going to change the layout of my user dashboard here. And I'm going to a three column layout and we're adding a new dashlet called Saved Search. Saved Search allows us to um, configure the dashlet with a query that gets run. In this case I'll just give it a simple word to do a full text search for. We'll look for the word white paper in any of our content and we'll give it title of white papers and now we have a dashlet that will always display uh, the white papers that it finds in any site that I have access to. Alright let's add a new dashlet. This one is the site search dashlet. This is similar but instead of um, sort of storing the query uh, as part of the dashlet configuration we can um, change the query at any time. Um, so we can do a search for any file that has the word movie in it for example and here they are and maybe we could narrow it down and say I only want movies with the word blood somewhere in the uh, <laughs> somewhere in the title and so that restricts the search further. So this dashlet basically just keeps you from having to use the, uh, the search box and the, the search results page. Alright, let's add a new one. Let's add the My Discussions dashlet. If you use a lot of uh, discussion threads in your share site, you're going to like this one. This is basically a, an activity feed that's specific to discussions. So I can come in and say, I want to see all the topics updated in the last week or in the last day. I want to see my topics. I want to see all the topics. So now instead of having to pop into each discussion thread to see if there's any activity, you can see the activity uh, immediately just by looking at your dashboard. All right, let's look at a change to the My Task Dashlet. I'm going to jump into this uh, text file and start a workflow. So we'll start a new workflow here. Incidentally, um, the Activity Engine has been upgraded to 5.10 in this release of Community. So that's good. Um, all right, we're just starting an ad hoc workflow and we will assign this to a test user and start the workflow. Then we will log out and log in as that test user. Now it used to be that um, in your tasks dashlet you could only see the current tasks. Now the tasks dashlet is split into active tasks and completed tasks. Let's click on completed tasks and we can see a list of the tasks that I've completed in the past and on the left we have a new filter so if I click active I'll see the active tasks and here's the one that we just created. Let's go ahead and uh, open that task and um, complete it and now it's off of our active list and should be over on our completed list. All right, let's log back in as admin and jump into uh, a site. So let's get the site dashboard and let's add a dashlet to the site dashboard. The dashlet we're going to add here is one that uh, has been in since uh, maybe a couple of releases, Image Preview. Now Image Preview has a better layout and has the ability to be configured to show only images in a specific folder within the site. So instead of finding all of the images, we could say show only the images in the Portland Images folder, for example, you know, or Chicago or whatever. Or we could set it back to the root of the document library and it will show all the images in the site. So those are some new and improved dashlets now available in Alfresco 4.2 Community.